Hey, hello. I'm Dr. Jim Anderson, and you might be wondering what I'm doing under this umbrella right now. Well, in case you've missed it, cloud computing has arrived in IT, and a lot of CIOs are currently considering getting their company involved by taking some of their applications and storage into the cloud. Now, that might sound like a good idea, but I'm here to say that there's some problems with those clouds. And CIOs? need to take a careful look and make sure that they understand just what's up with cloud computing. Control. This is the biggest issue when it comes to using cloud computing. By design, a company gives up control when they sign up to use a firm's cloud resources. This means that the cloud provider can make changes to the infrastructure without telling the company at any time. This needs to be managed. Performance Reliability When you are using resources that are not located within your firm's buildings, the question of how much computing horsepower you have available when you need it comes up. Additionally, failures will happen, and so understanding how you'll be notified and how quickly issues will be resolved is critical. Security You know that you can protect your mission-critical business data when it's inside your own walls, but what happens when somebody else is managing it for you? Cost of bandwidth. You should be saving money on buying hardware and staffing to maintain it. However, you'll need to very accurately forecast your bandwidth costs in order to determine the true cost of using the cloud. Vendor lock-in. True standards for how applications communicate and control applications that are in a vendor's cloud have not yet been established. This means that vendors are creating their own proprietary interfaces that could end up tying you to a vendor for longer than you would like. Transparency. Basically, this comes down to the difficulty that you'll have doing an audit of your IT resources. Since you don't have true visibility into the cloud, you can't say for certain who has access to your data and how you can keep people out of your sensitive data. Reliability. I'd like to say that clouds are 100% reliable, but I can't. The trade rags are filled with stories about connections that have gone down and backup diesel generators that have failed to switch on. There is risk with every decision you need to and you need to decide if you can handle the risk that comes with cloud computing. As exciting as the new field of cloud computing is, CIOs need to slow down and take a deep breath. This is new stuff, and it means that not all the details have been worked out just yet. There are seven major areas that could have a dramatic impact on your company's ability to get the most out of cloud computing. Do your homework and see if a cloud computing offers you a way to apply IT to enable the rest of the company to grow quicker, move faster, and do more. You might be asking yourself, where do I go from here? The ability to effectively manage an IT department and to do it well is a skill that your company needs you to have. It sure makes sense to take the time to invest the time and energy that it takes to become a great CIO. A great way to start doing this is to sign up for the free The Accidental Successful CIO newsletter. This monthly publication is sent to your inbox and is overflowing with tips and techniques on how you can spend your time making the right IT decisions and really leading your department's IT professionals. We'll cover how to evaluate new technologies, how to foster relationships with other parts of the business, how to hire the right staff, and how to determine when it's time to let them go. How to work with the CEO so that he understands just how critical IT is to his and the company's success. And, you know, we might even cover a few CIO career tips or two. Hey, the newsletter is free, so you can't go wrong there. In the description of this video, you'll find a link that you can click on. Go ahead and click on it, and you'll be taken to a web page that will let you sign up for the newsletter. There's even a free gift in it for you when you do it. Thanks for watching this video. Sign up for the newsletter, and congratulations on starting your journey to becoming an accidental successful CIO.